I was very glad when I could uh, extract the broken nozzle from the hitting head. But then when I tried to put it back in the 3D printer, I by accident tear uh, one cable from the heating sen sensor. So I found in the internet a replacement kit that includes all the parts that is needed for preparing a new extruder, extruder head. In this video is about replacing all the parts. It's for the Artillery Sidewinder X1. So this is the old heating block uh, without the nozzle that is broken. This is the the cable from the heat sensor that was broken and there is no easy way to fix this. I uh, screwing in this uh, metal sleeve, I'm not sure if this is the correct exact name of it. Open this uh, two Allen screws so I could insert the heating element at first I came from the wrong side but then I looked at the old part and I understood that it need to come from the other way Tighten it a little bit with an Allen uh, key, and then so it will sit flush. I uh, put it on the table, and then uh, close it all the way. to put the eating heat sensor just uh, slide it inside and then close it with uh, this Allen screw I'm uh, taking out the plastic tube from the old extruder so I can uh, measure and uh, cut the new one to the size. This kit came with a lot of nozzles in different sizes. This is the uh, 1.2, this is 1.0, uh, 
the bigger the number, the bigger the hole. This one is uh, 0 0.3. Also, we have 0 0.6 and this is 0 0.8. I never used anything that is not 0 0.4 and uh, actually in this kit is there are four, four of them. Uh, this is uh, what I'm going to use in this case also. This time I'm going to uh, screw it inside uh, with the hand and only tight a little bit with a wrench, 7mm wrench. The other side, the sleeve, the metal sleeve, uh, can uh, tighten it with a uh, number 6mm uh, wrench. Um, uh, the heating block is uh, ready uh, so now come the difficult part and it is to put it back to the 3D printer and insert this uh, silicone plastic tube and um, connecting at first the uh, a heat source element and then the the heat sensor the heat sensor is uh, difficult to reach difficult to film and uh, I couldn't find an angle that I can uh, do it and also uh, take a video of it I also needed some uh, some tweezers so I can uh, put it in place. It's uh, not impossible, but it's a little bit difficult. Eventually, it was in place. Then I just uh, needed to put the fan back. Let's call it the front fan. Uh, off camera, I needed to take apart the side fan and in a moment you will see why this is still the front fan This is a silicone uh, case that is uh, covering the heat block. So this is the side fan. It's, it's not here. This is where it's uh, supposed to be. There is two Helen screws that uh, need to be tightened closed. So it will uh, hold the heating block. If you don't tighten this screw, the heating block will uh, slowly come out. Also important to do a level check before starting to print. And uh, after that, basically done, you can print. Uh, this is just uh, some uh, 
So the phone holder in the shape of a cat. It took about uh, 54 minutes to print. Just to check that everything is working. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like to see more stuff, you can subscribe. Thank you for watching.